child, I used to make up stories when walking home from school to the farm, surrounded by big rolling fields and a vast open sky. Only the birds, the trees, and the little flowers along the way would listen to my stories as I imagined myself into fairy tale worlds. Gone take a walk in the snow. It is medicine for the soul. So much in my head these days. I still like to tell stories perhaps more grounded now. Stories about nature, making things, and creating a peaceful life for me and my family. But I still feel a glimpse of magic when I walk through the forest where I live, feeling small and yet so free among the tall trees. My heart feels so calm and the idea starts filling my head. My search for freedom, my peace for Cold days are the days to get cozy and crafting. The delicate shapes and patterns form an image in my head to become a woolly and warm sweater that will wrap me up in the warmth as I go explore the early spring in a few weeks. Fern and wool, nature and making. Making a handmade garment takes time. The process is slow, but beautiful. From the idea taking shape, getting it onto paper, finding the perfect materials, and winding the yarn. Getting to know its character as the fibers run through my fingers, casting on. Slowly watching the fabric grow, stitch by stitch, to finally be able to wear the finished sweater. It's like a journey.
I don't knit quickly. I often stop to look at the stitches, at the growing fabric between my hands, getting lost for a moment before I pick the movement back up, finding that rhythm again, finding the calm, one stitch at the time. Winter is here, but it has been so mild this year. No frost, no snow, and I'm already beginning to see signs of spring. Little snowdrops peeking out from the ground. Even so, I still make sure to feed the birds as they bring so much life and joy to the empty winter garden.